What up, bros? Welcome to another BroGraph BroCast. I'm Dave. And I'm Matt. And joining us today is the man, the myth, the legend, the amazing Mr. Beeple uh, uh, from BeepleCrap.com. People dash crap. <laughs> and BroGraph is a supplement to our site, BroGraph.com, which is a motion graphics tutorial site with tutorials, plugins, podcasts, and other MoGraph stuff. And on the show, we talk about everything ranging from motion graphics to Cinema 4D, After Effects plugins, render engines, doing business, doing taxes, being a contractor, or working for the man. And you can email us, brograph at brograph.com. Let us know what you think about the show. Ask us questions. Send us your feedback, your thoughts, your concerns. And we love to read that. So uh, hit us up. So this week, people. Yeah. All right. That's it, everybody. We're done. We're done. <laughs> we had people on the show Good again. Talk. Yeah, Good that talk, was it. Guys. <laughs> that was it. Man, so what is going on with you, my man? Same old shit. Same old shit. Oh, oh there, it there, there it is. There you go. What? <laughs> everybody drink on the on the cuss on the. Yes, cursing. every time. Every would, time Mike swears, you have to take a drink. <laughs> yeah. Within the yeah. first twenty minutes. <laughs> It's not same old stuff, though. You've been doing some fun stuff. You had your party. That was amazing. Yeah, it yeah. was super fun. Yeah, thank you guys for coming out. I think you guys might have won the award for for this distance traveled. Unless so. someone came from another country. I don't know. Maybe we did. And Paul. Yeah. yeah. Paul yeah. tied with us. Because we also we all so, came from New wait, York. Wait, when yeah. did you guys go in the morning back? Oh, we left at like 4 a.m. Are you serious? Oh, no, the next no. day? The, the next, next day, day, our flight wasn't until like one. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. It was so we were good. It's like, oh my yeah. god. Okay. What time did you get in? Like, how long were you in L.A.? Uh. Well, we woke up at midnight California time. Yeah, and left at four. A- and so we left at four yeah. a.m. or three a.m. to go to the airport. So our flight was at six a.m. New York time, and then we flew there. We had an hour and a half layover in Chicago. Chicago. I think we got in at like I don't know noon mm-hmm. okay there or something like that so. got a second to just chill for a bit right yeah <laughs> yeah it took a little nap yeah yeah so uh that was a interesting night that was definitely crazy so so uh, tell, yeah, us, t- tell, t- tell us about this clothing line thing like tell, tell <laughs> it, I, I, I haven't i saw the post i don't know anything else about it. i'm like oh that's what's as as much as you can say what what's going on there um so yeah it was just they contacted me actually somebody contacted me first from um just on instagram which is just for the record the worst way to contact anybody <laughs> right <laughs> worst way um and the guy at first just contacted me and said, I'm a, a 28-year-old guy from Paris, you know, who works with clothes. You know, would you like to work on something? And, of mm. course, I did not see that message at all. Like, even if I was <laughs> in it, it would have been like, okay, right. this is just nothing. It's like, why wouldn't you say you're from Louis Vuitton? Uh, right. So then somebody emailed me, and they're like, okay, you know, we're from Louis Vuitton, and we want to, like, use some of the clothing on – or some of the pictures on clothing or whatever. And is that tweaking out for everybody? Like the video on mine is like no, super I think tweaking you, no. out. Okay. You're good. It's me. You're good. Okay. Um, so anyway, so they like contacted me or he just messaged me and it was like, okay, we want to use some of the pictures on clothing. And I'm like, seems a little weird. Um, but I guess maybe some of the like more kind of uh, patterny sort of, techy stuff maybe mm-hmm. you could kind of like you know a pattern on some small little thing or whatever and so then they picked out like 10 pictures that they were just like okay we're gonna have you make some like small changes to these pictures and um you know we'll use that and so they um you know then they show me the pictures they want and they were all like this robots and shit and it was like what <laughs> like what? the fuck are you gonna put this on like women's clothing on like a <laughs> three thousand dollar women's shirt you're gonna put a fucking robot like mm-hmm. so it's like okay so you know i they had me make the changes which most of them a lot of them were just like it was like change like add the like logo like it was basically like like one of them was like a, this tower, and I had a McDonald's logo on it. And they're like, "Yeah, just change the McDonald's logo to a Louis Vuitton logo." 
That's mm-hmm, really okay. funny because I, I feel like I feel like you're you're trying to say something with all these corporate things in <laughs> right. like your your dailies and they're like oh no we like that just put our logo there yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah no it's just like no yeah that's good with us yeah we'll look like that yeah that we're <laughs> being re- interpreted like that it's like okay um, yeah so it was it was very pretty minor changes to most of them a couple of them it was like can you like, kind of combine them two of them into sort of one, but most of them, it was just put in the logos. And so, you know, I sent them the high res files. And again, they're like, you know, we don't know what they're going to be used for. We just kind of like hand them off. And I was dealing directly with Louis Vuitton, not through like a third party, but it was sort of, right. we don't, the guy I was talking to was sort of like, I don't really get involved with like the studio. And it's sort of like, that's their thing. And I don't even like to like talk to them, like ask them, like bug them. And so mm-hmm, right. kind of like, you know, sent him the like high res files and, you know, then it was like a month and it was sort of like, oh, yeah, we're, you know, we're using them. And I'm kind of like, you know, is this like, like, <laughs> this is some low level dude at the fucking company who's just like, oh, let's use some people shit on the fucking club. <laughs> like, I actually in charge of like, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Like, why would we do that? That we're not going to do that. You know, so I'm like really thinking this is like. Still very low chance of actually happening. Uh-huh. Right. And it just so happened that we I was doing a talk in Paris like a couple weeks before that. So it was mm-hmm. like, oh, fuck, we could actually like go to the show, go to the like show opening in Paris. And so it ended up, um, you know, that we were able to like go. And so even the like night of the show, it was kind of like they couldn't tell me, like had not seen anything. And I thought, you know, there's Jeez. probably at least a 50 percent chance we go to this show at the friggin' Louvre, and it's like nothing. That it's yeah. going to be like, yeah, I didn't see anything. Did you see anything? <laughs> that was, they didn't use it. Um, so we go and, you know, sit down. And I've never been to anything like this, like fucking Paris <laughs> Fashion Week. Like, this is nothing that I've ever remotely been to. And so we sit down, and the first model comes out, and there's the fucking, like, Plain as day, the like picture, second model picture, third model picture, wow. fourth model, and just like fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? They used everything. Like, I was just, like <laughs> freaking out. All the people around me were just kind of like, what the fuck is this kid like fucking freaking out? Like, how many just, were there? Uh, they used, there was, so there's 45 like looks for the like collection or whatever. And it was, uh, they used pictures on 13 of them. So on a third of the looks, wow. they had some pictures wow. on them. And some of them, you know, it was just like, it's like, how the hell are they going to use this? And it's like, oh, they literally just put the full picture on the front of a white T-shirt. It's like, okay, right. I would have right. never, never imagined they would do that. <laughs> so it's just like the most, you know, I would have thought it'd been like, oh, in the inside lining of the soul, like that little thing. See how there's a little robot there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I thought. Yeah. If they did use right. it all, it would be like, yeah, it's on the inside lining of a purse, like under where you'd put everything and like, you'll never see it. That's um, funny. <laughs> so yeah. It was just like super fucking super, super bizarre. Did they, uh, did they give you any of the shirts afterwards? So the shirts, um, no. And so the shirts, <laughs> the shirts right now, th- these shirts don't come out until the spring. That was the spring collection. And okay. Right now they're taking all the So wait, stuff. so that wasn't just a show to like show off like potential stuff or fun stuff or whatever. Like I know there's like sometimes with fashion shows they just show off whatever, but they're actually like legit making a line. Yeah, no, this is the spring collection. Wow. This is the spring nice. collection that will be in the stores. What they do is they take what they did and there's certain elements that are maybe um hard to like mass produce or a little like super weirdly frilly or like weird like just a little too much and then Mm -hmm. kind of like take those off but it's sort of like mostly like 95 i got the impression it was like roughly 99 95 percent what you saw on the show will be what the actual like clothes look Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah they'll come out in the um the spring uh wow like I guess I don't. I'm not sure. Exactly. Oh, I'm totally buying one. Spring, yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize how much those are. They're like they could be like three, four grand. Three, four grand. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I, I hope you're. I hope you're getting some kickbacks from the that. Cheapest, right. 
not as much for how much they freaking you know, <laughs> this. I'll say that. They, um, yeah, I would say the cheapest I saw like a shirt for was like 500 bucks. And most of the shirt, just oh, a man. t-shirt, like a fucking plain nothing t-shirt is like no robots on it. Nah, no, like a Louis Vuitton logo t-shirt. And that was like 500 bucks. See, but here's I'm gonna have what to we make do. a faux version. I'm going to say, yeah, we make some sheeple yeah. versions of this, uh, of this. Yeah. We actually license some of your work. For us to print them on plain white t-shirts, you know? Dot, dot, and dot. And then just... Profit. S- yeah, well, exactly. I actually already have some shirts through this other company. There's this guy in Colorado who's kind of, like, makes shirts or whatever. And he's made some, like, shirts or whatever with uh, some of the work. But, yeah, it's definitely... It's a... Uh, an interesting price point. But it's, it's just funny because it's, like, they can put... I mean, they're not... It's obviously the the cost is their brand, and it's like they could put anything on that fucking shirt. Yeah, it would be three thousand dollars. It doesn't exactly. yeah, really yeah, yeah. even matter what they put right. on the shirt to some degree. My I'm totally like, doing my own iron-on version. <laughs> just, just I'm gonna go to like, Target. Don't you guys have? Or was that David Aria has some? <laughs> I think he had some like shirt that he made or something. Is it? Is it the one of you? Is it the oh. one with you on it? I think it has me. Yeah, like I'm, and my face is super red. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. So, it's in our. Yeah, I made that our... one. I, mean, I tried to make it as awful as possible, and I used Comic Sans, I think. And yeah, Wait, it's so why stupid. Was my face super red. Was it like I don't? Like... I don't know. It was some picture I got from somewhere. It was supposed to be the, the contrast. Yeah, it was just supposed to be look to like to look as bad as possible. I think the whole thing happened because you were speaking somewhere. I think at an event in New York or something, and a couple people were gonna go. I I think that it turned out they couldn't go, but we we're like, y'all gotta like wear these shirts and just show up in the audience. And... <laughs> that would have been fucking good. I would like stand up. That's great. <laughs> so, uh, talk to me about the party. Like, you know, w- why? What was the what? What was the why? You know, so, mm-hmm. what, why'd you decide to throw it all together and stuff? I mean, it was a killer I party. Throw that all together. That Let me make that clear first off. So it like I, um, I was going to be in LA for Adobe Max for that Adobe yeah. stock thing that I did. That part of that thing was going to Adobe Max or whatever. Um, and so it was sort of like, oh, it'd be cool to like, you know, get all of my sort of friends together that way I don't have to like <laughs> go and like meet all of them separately and try to like, okay, right, I'll right, meet right, you right. this time. Like if we could just all get together at like a bar, then I could just kind of like bang everybody out at one time. Yeah. And so that was kind of the original plan. And so I, I sort of like, or, or like trying to like tag on to like a meetup. So I like mm-hmm. kind of like tried to like see who does the like meetups out there and there are some people who do meetups that sort of like madre um people but to be honest they don't do that many and Mm -hmm. it's sort of like it it, there wasn't like a ton of I, i couldn't really find like a good sort of like um i don't know a good kind of like avenue of like okay this is our next meetup and we'll just like you know kind of maybe move it a little bit and like kind of do it then or whatever so it was like okay let's like try and plan something for like you know that date or whatever and so i started like working with those guys and then i remembered um one of my buddies and we were like looking at bars and stuff and you'd have to like you know to book the bar like get so much alcohol blah 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 yeah yeah, and i remembered i had a buddy who like does the parties for Amazon, like Amazon, oh, cool. they're like Amazon web services conference each year. And they mm-hmm. do the like final party of that thing. And like this year, it's actually in a couple days, they're expecting 35,000 people at that party. Holy cow. Yeah. Jeez. So they put on big fucking parties. So it's that's like, not even a party. That's no. like a, yeah. S- like Both a, open a bar concert. like fucking wow. last year was like dj snake the year and i went to one of the parties in 2000 i went to that party in 2015 and it was like the most fucking insane party it's in vegas the most fucking insane party um so so i had been seeing they had been posting a bunch of pictures on social media of like new offices downtown it's like oh maybe they could like do it at their offices or whatever so 
I was like, oh, you guys want to, like, host this party there? And, like, you know, I figured they could kind of, like, cover everything. And I kind of thought it might be a little bigger than whatever. But I was like, oh, they'll be, like, cool to, like, actually do it. Like, if it kind of, like, gets a little bigger than we thought. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, if it's, like, 150 people, we'll just cover everything. We'll, co- you know, no cost. We'll cover all the drinks, <laughs> whatever. And I was like, okay, sweet. And so we, like, opened up the RSVP. And within, like, two oh. days, it was 1,000 people. And they're like, yeah, oh, yes. fuck, shut the RSVP down. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, like, wait, what the fuck are we doing? Like, so then it was sort of like, okay, let's, they were like, we'll find a new venue and just like, you know, open it up, sell drinks, whatever. And so mm-hmm. they like handled all of that. Like they found the venue, they, you know, hired the drink people, or I don't know if the drink people are with the venue. I have no idea. They got like Red Bull sponsored it, like it, you know, like <laughs> donated a bunch of Red Bull shit and like handled. Then why was I paying for Red Bull? <laughs> well, well, they like I think they gave them some Red Bull. They were still oh, selling yeah. drinks, but they like yeah. you know because they were trying to like recoup some of their you know, yeah sort of like costs or whatever. Um. So yeah, they kind of like handled all the like money and like you know security and booking like DJs and stuff and the sound system and that like LED screen and projectors and all that shit. Like they handled like ninety nine point nine percent of it. Like if it nice. had been like okay, thirteen hundred people. Yep, that's not happening. <laughs> like <laughs> how many people? How many people ended up showing up? Um, yeah. So the venue held 800, the, the max of the venue was 800 people. So we actually, mm-hmm. and we had 2,300 people in the end RSVP. Jeez. So we actually started kind of doing things to make sure all those people didn't show up. Like we didn't send out like <laughs> reminder emails the day and stuff like that. <laughs> right. And okay. I didn't like post anymore, like come to this thing. Don't forget. Yeah. Blah, 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 because we didn't want a line outside like a right. people who couldn't you know, get in that they like showed up to this thing. And then it's like, well, I'm sorry. The like fire code is like 800. We can't have any more than 800. So like, and Corey, like the guy, my buddy who runs that company or whatever was like trying to obviously sort of mitigate this as well to kind of make sure there wasn't an issue with this. And so we ended up having through the door was like 700 people. So it was like perfect, like a ton of people. Yeah, I know, but it, like, perfectly, no, but everybody got to get in, nobody had to, like, stay outside, so it was, like, it honestly worked, like, totally, totally perfect as far as that. Oh, you did have to, like Kevin says here, you had, you did have to rescue Paul at one point. So I brought Paul in, (laughs) didn't talk to him the rest of the night. (laughs) Totally, there was, there was, like, two or three other people, it kind of backfired, like, in terms of talking to my friends, there was, like, Three or four right. other people was like, oh, hey, never talked to him the rest of the night. That's it's like a wedding. Yeah, right. it was just like, yeah, it was definitely like so freaking crazy. But there was like tons of other people that I like, you know, didn't like that I had talked to before and kind of forgot they were from L.A. And it's like, oh, fuck, mm-hmm. like you, like I talked yeah. to you, blah, blah, blah. Never met them. Like, so it was super good <laughs> as far as that. But yeah, it was definitely definitely super fun and hopefully i like Corey was definitely like you know let's do it next year or whatever so hopefully like, yeah next year we can do it as well i would definitely be down but again it's kind of i have no capability to like plan a party like that so I'm like, yeah, i'm not doing it that's not happening so is this a tradition now yeah dude, that, make it a tradition thing? i don't know i mean it was definitely kind of like I think, you know, they liked it in terms of sort of uh, kind of boosting because the, the other reason I kind of um, and the company is called Production Club, just to put that out there. They they were looking for um, Octane freelancers. He had mentioned that like a couple months before that. And he was like, oh, do you know of any people? And so it was sort of like, um, yeah, that was uh, uh, another reason that I thought they would be a good fit is because, you know, they're kind of like looking for. Um, you know, freelancers are always on the lookout for people. So yeah, I would definitely say if you're in LA or you want to do, uh, you know, concert visuals, they just did a big thing for the chain smokers. Um, they, yeah, they do awesome. They're super, super cool people. So production club, I would definitely look them up and shoot them a reel and they would definitely be, be good people to, to, um, connect with. Cool, man. I, I like uh, 
Gav Grant's comment. You should call it BeepleCon. <laughs> BeepleCon. I wanted to be like a party because I feel like that's the other thing. Like I feel that like it, there's that not. It was. <laughs> well, I feel like there's yeah. not. I didn't really want like talks. I want yeah. to yeah. just be like, this is not a meetup. This is not a conference. <laughs> this is just a party to get together with all the other like MoGraph people. Mm-hmm. That's it. I feel like there's not enough like events like that. It's either like yeah. a meetup. And sometimes when you go to a meetup, me personally, it's kind of like, I just want to talk to the guy sitting next to me. Like, I don't necessarily want to like listen to this thing about X particles right now. Like, right. Right. I, I haven't seen this guy in forever or, you know, yeah. like a limited amount of time to sort of like catch up. That it's sort of like, I really want, I want to hear this, but I could hear that on YouTube, like, you know, yeah. tomorrow mm-hmm. or the next day. And yeah. I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. do that with you, the person I'm like, you know, came with or like, you know, friends at this. So it was like, that's kind of the what I wanted it to be more about is just catching up with bodies. And David so- Aryev did a nice uh, video. <laughs> as well yeah yeah he did an awesome thing yeah i just reached out to him i was like dude you like fucking know all this shit like i've heard so many times listening to the like podcast like you know he's like said something and and i go on and watch that video and been like oh fucking super sweet so i was just like can you put together like a couple hour like reel of just like whatever just getting <laughs> shit off <laughs> and like if anybody bitches tell them the, i told you to do it and they can bitch at me he actually said that a few people at that show, uh, because people were watching it, like they've actually gotten a few calls for work. Yeah, because somebody of, yeah. messaged me and they were like, and it was somebody that I'd met in Athens a couple weeks before that. And I totally mm-hmm. like forgot about it, blah, blah, blah. But they were like, oh, yeah, somebody said that they saw this thing at that party you did. And they're like, want to like work with us. It was like, oh, fuck. So, yeah, I sent it to like David to be like, yeah, that's just freaking, you know, super sweet to see. He knows everybody, man. Yeah, like, he, and he He remembers every name. I like, I'll see something and I, I just, I don't remember the name. That's my yep. problem. And honestly, a lot of times I'll see something and I won't like, you know, it'll be like, oh, sweet. And I won't, sometimes I will, but sometimes I won't even like dig deeper to see like, wait, who the fuck did that? Like, what the, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, that's sweet. And added to Pinterest board or something. And like, right. <laughs> just goes <laughs> into the like void of the internet. I just attribute it to internet. So the the daily that you did after the party was called Reboot? Did that have any influence uh, because of uh, the amount of partying that we all did? Dude, I, you guys were <laughs> like gone after. It was like, where the fuck is everybody? I went to like a fucking warehouse after party too. Like, really? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we just went to Denny's. We went to Denny's. <laughs> nah, dude. I didn't get home to like or something maybe it was oh man yeah dude and i was fucking <laughs> i was done by after the party and then it was like uh, you know i've got a buddy i've got a, a buddy in la there who goes pretty hard and so it was like oh dude let's go to this thing and oh like, man fucking yeah it was <laughs> yeah no it was a long night that was a long night cool man so so we've had you on before, so there are some things that we've already kind of talked about, so I yeah. don't think we're going to, like, read. Yeah, we don't we need don't to hear really your origin revisit. story. <laughs> yeah. We need to hear your origin story. Yeah. I mean, we can talk about some other stuff, like uh, uh, cin- Cinnamon 4D, as my daughter accidentally <laughs> called it the other day. Uh, I was going to ask you about the, uh, uh, talk to me about Imagine Dragons. So you just did their second, uh, uh, or their newest album on top of like their last album cover as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, how'd you, how'd, how'd you land that gig? Um, it started last year. They had contacted me for, um, that believer, um, uh, mm-hmm. single and they had somebody working on, um, album art for the like single or whatever. And they didn't like it. And they were just like, found uh, every day that i did and they were like we need this like literally like immediately like Mm -hmm. the way we could like license this and i was like sure awesome that'd be great and so they licensed that and then they like kept doing that they kept Mm -hmm. licensing other day every days for different um uh singles and then like oh do you want to like do the like 
cover for the like actual album like something you know custom or whatever and so we did that and then since then they've kept basically doing that like licensing every day is for um single art and then and then the next the when the next album came out um they're like do you want to like do the album art or whatever that's cool. Yeah. So keeping yeah. keeping that in mind that you're actually making money off of these every days now, do you sometimes like put a little bit more work into it? You know, well, like instead of just of like sometimes calling it in, you know, <laughs> just being like, okay, I think this one's gonna be some album art. I'm gonna try and shoot for that. There has been a couple times where they like came to me with something, and I was, mm-hmm. and they kind of like sometimes they only. Or they'll have the like song title, and it's like I don't know if I have like anything that would ne- necessarily fit. So I'll kind of like the next that day or whatever, I'll do something uh-huh. that's kind of like, yeah, it kind of feels like it could be a Magic Dragons type, like whatever. <laughs> and there was one time it was just like, yep, that's it, and it was just like, fuck, sweet, that was like done, and it was like you know hour and a half or whatever, two hours, and it was like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're good, yep, that's good. Like there's, there's never like any changes. Like it's very like they're super freaking easy to work with. Like it's just, I mean, for the for the actual album art, then yeah. we went some rounds or whatever, but nothing too bad or whatever. But for the like single stuff, it's just like, yep, yeah, that's good, cool. So that's cool. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, talk to me about their concert visuals because you were nice enough to get us tickets to go and see uh, Imagine Dragons, and a lot of their stuff, their concert visuals, looks very Beeple inspired. And I wasn't sure if you actually had a hand in that, or whether like you were just taking they were taking every days and then getting another team to animate them. Yeah, that's what they kind of more or less did. They I they licensed a bunch of project files for me from the every okay. days. And so they like picked out like 10 or whatever. And so then they, they, I just packaged up the like project files or whatever. And then they had another team sort of like animate them because they didn't have the time to kind of work on that or whatever. But yeah. Too busy making Imagine Dragons every day. (laughs) (laughs) I remember what I was working on at the time, but yeah, I couldn't really like take it on or whatever. But yeah. Are you still doing any concert visual stuff? Yeah. Um, don't know if I can say what I'm working on right now, but yeah, I'm definitely working on like concert visual stuff. I don't know if they've announced it yet. Um, That's all right. But yeah, there's yeah, I'm definitely definitely still working on concert visuals. I just did uh, again. This is part of like a bigger team or whatever. But check mm-hmm. the Gambino stuff. Cool. Uh, a couple. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I think what else? Just Britney Spears thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's been a bunch of stuff throughout the year or whatever. I, is, I like, it, is there ever a time where like an artist like an artist they want you to do work for an artist and you're like that person really <laughs> like so this year, they want my stuff <laughs> like no, i mean because no. you think you think britney spears you don't necessarily think people no you know and that's that's the thing i'm part of like a bigger team it's not just like i'm on a bigger team with this company that like that's their thing like i'm just right. one piece of the like team or whatever so mm-hmm. it, it wasn't like britney's like ah, i need freaking people blah 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 like, <laughs> no, no, no. That's like these are giant shows that like uh-huh. have you know huge layers of like decision makers on top of decision makers mm-hmm. the management the label the blah 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 like so it's sort of like you know and, and then i'm just one person like on the thing designing a few tracks or whatever because there's mm-hmm. just like such insanely big productions yeah um how much how much say do you have into when you're pushing these out because like yeah. i would think zero just okay I was, i'm just the like that's crazy person on the team yeah that's so crazy see it's guys like, even dude, even people has to deal with dude, people making early no, executive decisions even people has a boss yeah, even people has a boss <laughs> I, that's why i think people like think that like this there there comes a point where you just magically have this you know free say over whatever the fuck and you just do whatever the fuck you want like that mm-hmm. doesn't happen that happens when you're self-financing it And if you're not self-financing it, you are not calling the shots. Even the big directors, Mm -hmm. they're fucking, you know, whoever. If somebody else is paying for it, like, they'll go in and be like, here's our notes. And they'll have notes and they'll want shit changed. And shit changed. And they'll be like, ah, that's why they have director's cuts. 
I mean, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. what director's cuts are. Director's cuts like, well, that the movie didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to turn out, even as the director, even as, you know, this big name guy who's at the fucking top of the industry. Mm-hmm. It wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be because I didn't put up the two hundred million to make that movie. Yeah, so yeah. this yeah. this thought that you're sort of like gonna get above that, and I'm definitely nowhere close to that. So that's, I mean, that's even those people are kind of like they're making changes. They're making changes that they don't want to make. So huh. it's kind of, and I look at it as like the. You know, I did fucking the, one of the jobs this this year was for Barry Manilow. It was nice. <laughs> Barry Manilow's fucking yeah. No, dude, I've done some things. I uh, like and and so like, are you are you are you putting in any of your style, or is yeah. someone coming to you with boards and stuff like that? Like, oh. like seriously, you say Barry Manilow? I don't think people. No, no, <laughs> you and, know. And to be honest, Barry Manilow didn't think people. <laughs> Very bad thing, people. We did we did this thing for him, and he had like he was having like a um a rebooting his his uh like he had like a Vegas residency or something, and <laughs> he's definitely I will say to his credit like he seems very actually involved in this stuff. Like a lot mm-hmm. of like, bigger people, it's just kind of like they don't fucking give a fuck like it's just uh-huh. whatever they show up to rehearsals and it's like well oh cool yeah okay and then mm-hmm. they can do their thing and they don't give a fuck mm-hmm. yeah. like he would seem like into it but yeah it ended up you know we did a bunch of stuff and it was looking pretty decent and then it kind of like turned out that really what he wanted was just to recreate what he already had he just didn't have those project files Oh, that's mm. funny. like a, a cam recording of his his intro, uh-huh. and and he didn't have the actual intro video files, so he wanted that recreated almost like literally oh, man. exactly, and it was not good. It was like, <laughs> like particular presets and shit. Like it nice. was like really, yeah. It Some was, college kid made it for him a long time ago. A long time, ago. <laughs> yeah. Like it was, yeah, but it's sort of like at the end of the day, like, I don't know. I I think you have to like disconnect some, something from that and just like find something that's interesting or fun about these projects to like grow and like learn and like not get too hung up on like, this isn't exactly what I want because it's not going to be like, you're taking, it's not going to be exactly what you want, but that doesn't mean that like, I don't know, like, that's work. Like, I think it's unrealistic to, like, think that every project is going to be this, like, you know, just beautiful, artistic, whatever. Like, it's just, yeah. you got to kind of, like, find yeah. the the interesting piece of it that you can, like, sort of, you know, maybe it's just, maybe it's not even has anything to do with the final product. Maybe it's just, it was a, an excuse for you to learn something about X particles. Or it was yeah. an excuse for you to, like, Tried. I've had several of those moments lately. Sure. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. I just like, you just learned something little. It's not like, you know, this kind of, maybe that's it. Maybe that's all that was. It was just something where you got to like learn something and somebody paid you to like learn X particles. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So uh, mm-hmm. I think that's kind of how I look at it, I guess. Oh, it's so, like what Matt was working on this morning. He's like, oh, I'm just going to try this infusion. Yeah, just so I can see. No, you know. Yeah, so this week I was I I don't know what's going on with Adobe, but Adobe is like crap in the bed right now. No, don't as you far dare as talk the, about Adobe. Don't you dare no, sorry. talk about my boy. <laughs> just, <laughs> I, just as far you're as, having download like, issues. That's I'm having all it download is. issues on their side. Like I cannot download. So it took me eight hours to download After Effects. Yeah, it seems super weird. Weird. Yeah. This so anyway, so I was like, I "All right, I, 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 I can't download this. I can't open this project because it was open in a new uh, or made in a newer version. So I'm just gonna try it out on Fusion. So I was able to play around with Fusion and for a few not? hours. You know, just try yeah. out the nodes and such. Yeah. You know, don't get me wrong. Proje- I love a Adobe. Pro- <laughs> <laughs> a small, a small project or something that you can do mm-hmm. a little learning on. You know, if yeah. it's not something too complicated. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think it's definitely, um, yeah, I think each project is going to be sort of its own thing in, in turn, in, as far as that. But yeah, I think things like that, where it's like you got to like get a little introduction to this and, you know, 
see what it is and it is what it is there you guys have been doing a bunch of like concert visual stuff more haven't you yeah that link you sent me that link to the thing i couldn't see yeah. it in there which it one? was at the five i talking about the gift shop yeah it's at the five oh, minute mark it's only for a couple minutes it's yeah, only like for like a few seconds. seconds okay okay yeah. it's all we've seen so far because it's only been open for two days yeah oh, so shit. you know Wait, yeah did you, you did did you do something else that was that opened a while ago yeah, it was like, so. Yeah. We've done three for this. Uh, for uh, this is the Bush third Gardens. one. This is the oh, third okay, one nice. we've done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we have video of the other stuff, but I think we were talking on Facebook. I think maybe Jake might possibly yeah, we yeah. might be able to get him to go down yeah. there and take some Zubair video. was talking to me about it. and I was like, eh, cool, cool, cool. And then I got busy for some reason and didn't answer. Because we have this template for this projection map now, so mm-hmm. it's like we don't have to go to the park every time. Yeah, we just send nice. all of these oh, files. Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, if we want to see it, though, it's like a day's trek to get there. So, we're like, can somebody just like. Yeah. Williamsburg. Yeah. 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 That's an easy flight for you, actually, because we actually go through. (laughs) Yeah. We'll just have you you go shoot some video for us. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, why don't you go? No. Uh, we actually go. I think we go yeah, through you your time, airport right? to get there. Uh, oh, but it, there's like weird drive. Like you got to rent a car, then you got to drive. It's just like it's just a journey to get there. And oh, there's so, a close airport. Not really. Oh, not really. Not really. So it's one of those things where like we just rely on YouTube videos to see how our work turned out. Yeah. You know, we just search Instagram and stuff. Yeah. Well, as long as the clients happy, it's kind of like it sounds. Yeah, they were super happy with yeah. this, oh, one, which is really nice. Yeah. Nice. So. They were. So do you guys have um, a regular like sort of like thing with them now that it's like anytime they're kind of up? Uh, well, this was the this was the end of our first our contract. S- first uh, contract, yeah. So yeah. we're we're hoping they pick up another one. We don't know if they will or not. Yeah. So nice. if they do, cool. That's sweet. You know. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to do because when you do a projection map initially, there's a lot of stress and just trying to make sure everything lines up. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. But then once you have a template, I don't even know how to like do that. Like I am so far on the like content side of it that it's like mm-hmm. I have no idea how to fucking project. I mean, I understand the basic yeah. concept, but what software yeah. you use and like how you like actually set up the like After Effects template. I don't fucking mm-hmm. know how to do that. See, Dave handled all that. Me, I, I just sat back and made content. Yeah. Well, and, and we hired somebody that's very, very good at projection, too, okay. to go out there and help us measure it and make sure that we're getting all the resolutions right and all of that stuff. So we kind of collaborated. Sure. But it's like, and then, you know, but then we got the measurements and then I completely rebuilt the building in Cinema mm-hmm. 4D based on all the photogrammetry. But it once you get that all done and you know it works, it's like you just get a blank template every time and just have some fun. Good There's go. no more worry about it anymore, except yeah. for maybe... You know, does this color work? But is it like a fixed projector that's like not going anywhere? There's uh twelve projectors actually. Okay. Yeah. Nice. On yeah. the building. So so it's basically six it's six projections double stacked. Okay. And so when it's all said, I mean these brighter. are Yeah, just to make it brighter and also have kind of a fail safe, because what happens is like, you know, one of them you know, takes a crap or something, you yeah. know, but, uh, and is it a show that's like running like every night? Yeah. Like it happens like once it, a night. It runs every 15 minutes. Oh, wow. For like, yeah. For like four yeah. hours or something like that. So Not- yeah, it's, it's continually going. That's friggin' sweet. Yeah, yeah. This is, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a picture. It's on our website. There's like a picture of all the projectors oh, stacked okay. a whole projector room. That's me. Servers. <laughs> Back when I was skinny. See, they're huge projectors. Yeah, they're they're kind of old. Boys. Those are your big boys. They're old and they're they're four by three. But the thing is, when you're combining all this stuff, it really doesn't matter because it's just about pixels. It doesn't matter what aspect ratio. So it was actually better to have these. They fit better in the canvas as four by three. So um, mm-hmm. big old long lenses. I'm sure that these things originally were probably. Oh, God knows how much these projectors cost originally. <laughs> Luckily, they had them just sitting around. Yeah, right. You know, so so that's good. <clears throat> that's sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Very cool, very cool. So should we talk everydays? Let's do it. Let's talk some everydays. Because, uh, cause, like, uh, I, I feel like in the past, I don't know, you, you've really stepped up your game quite a bit. In the past, like, year or so, you know, because I was going through the everydays looking at previous ones and, like, you know, I, I, a lot of garbage. Okay, it could There's be a lot of garbage no. in there. I was shocked no. at how much garbage there is. No. What I'll say is 
and and maybe maybe I've gotten to the point where I'm seeing so many sheeples out there that it's like I'm used to See, this. Okay, no, let's no, yeah, no. let's have a okay. talk. Let's have a talk. <laughs> I kind of feel like I don't know, like it's a little. <sighs> you know what? Okay, here's the thing. It's the you, name sheeple. Sounds yeah. Yeah. You're, you you oh, are I don't like that that much. You're you're we'll in, call it fan art. Yes, fan art. <laughs> no, nah, it's not even fan people art, inspired though. Cinema nah. 4D art. See, and that's, that's a good thing. Well, and that's where I <laughs> I think I think everybody's inspired by stuff. I think that um I don't know, like I when I was like learning to like design and stuff, there was a uh a uh, collective in mm-hmm. France called Pleix, and this was 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and they did this like little e baby thing, and like fucking, you know, they they did a bunch of awesome stuff. One of the people in this collective was this designer Genevieve Gockler, mm-hmm. and, and you can look her up. Um, but I did stuff for a number of years that was literally just boom, like total total rip off of her style 100 mm-hmm. percent. like you would look at it look at this and be like wow that's the same fucking thing like that's a total fucking rip off like rip off right and i i think that's just it taught me like i i think that's that's um that's just part of like learning and like growing i think the difference now is you can see this stuff because of instagram Right, 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 right. Yeah. There's a thousand bands that started out and they're just fucking rip off of rip offs of Nirvana, of Foo Fighters, of whatever, of Imagine Dragons, of whoever. You just don't like hear them. But they're there, they're on SoundCloud. Like Mm -hmm. there's a bunch of people ripping these people off. That's just like part of learning. So I kind of feel like Well, no. I agree with you. Because it's sort of like because they haven't quite found their voice yet is kind of right. like, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know. I and, feel no, like it's... and I will agree with you. I, I, and I am absolutely guilty of uh, creating my own Beeple renders quite a few times. But it's, when it's... playing around and whatever. It's something that we all do as artists, right? You know, it's more like, I don't know. I think there's maybe also someone giving me too much credit for something that's like, okay, See, but you're, it's just a rip off of Blade Runner and Tron, all this other bullshit. Like, <laughs> right. So I didn't invent, like, it's just Star Wars. Everybody's just ripping off Star Wars. It's just all fucking like yeah. a rip off of Star Wars and shit that was like designed a long time ago. So it's like, right. But like these like, people don't necessarily know that. Like they think they're just ripping you off that, when in fact you're ripping true. off someone else. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. So it's kind of like, I don't know. Like I, I get, I don't know. I yeah. Like Mark says, everything is a remix. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like yeah. there's, there's a lot of like, um, I think everybody and I'm definitely because a lot of people, you know, ask where do i get inspiration i get inspiration from other people's work so my stuff is absolutely a like Mm -hmm. rip off of like a thousand people's work Mm -hmm. it's it's definitely like i will see little like shapes or ideas or like oh you know you could put a floating whatever tech thing whatever and i'll Mm -hmm. take that little idea and put it into something so i mean like my stuff is definitely to act like it's this like beacon of originality that everyone is just <laughs> drawing from this well it's like okay I, that's to me a little like uh, i don't i'm not sure about that not, well how about the stories how about the stories you wrote recently um what do you mean what about them the, the company stories year of our lord <laughs> yeah. year of our lord that's good that's good that was good <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> um no, I just wanted to like. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't remember what like the first. Just try. One. Yeah, just try like, writing. Yeah, I think it would be yeah. cool to like to do more of that to like just write little stories because I think it's something I'd like to like practice. Um, just getting like sort of better at mm-hmm. because I think it's very for me it's very hard. It's not definitely not something that kind of like comes naturally. It's something that it's like 
you know, I can't do it. A lot of times I don't have, but at first it was like, I'm going to do it every day. Right. And then it was yeah. sort of like, okay. I was curious. I was like, oh man, is he going to add this to his every day too? Cause yeah. uh, it was sort of like, I, I don't know. <laughs> It, or you were just like, okay, I've done this two days in a row. If I keep going, I'm going to have to do this every day. Otherwise, right. I need to stop now. Otherwise, it'll be 10 years later. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it definitely changes the like minimum viable product to something I can do in like five minutes to something that's like right. probably more like 10, 15 minutes. But mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I could obviously just put out some stupid whatever. So it's like, eh, I'd rather do it when it's a little but it's that's the thing it's kind of a, a trade-off because then i like will write much less like if yeah. i don't make myself do it then i'll probably write not, not probably i definitely will write way way less so i don't know i'm coming up on january 1st here we usually kind of make some sort of adjustment so maybe we'll maybe we'll add that in the mix i don't know we'll do, do you have anything that you're that you got in mind that you can talk about yet as for, far for as, like you know every year having kind of a different play or a different idea oh, I yeah, would just actually maybe like adding like doing like a story trying to do a story with the like picture with it oh yeah okay. i think yeah. to be honest before i was trying to like um kind of like learn a bunch of different tools and stuff and like yeah, yeah. 3d code and blah 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 honestly i'm like not that interested in there's no, there's not a bunch of, there's not that many other tools right now that I'm really like that interested in learning. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Because what's I, your, what's your main arsenal right now? Because, Cinema you know, 4D, at the beginning of the year, exclusively Cinema 4D. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't go into ZBrush. I don't go into Fusion 360. I don't go into anything. I almost what's... never model anything. I don't make textures anymore. I don't use Substance <laughs> Designer. Uh-huh. They download stuff that's art. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I so a lot of kit bash stuff. A lot of kit bash stuff. A lot yeah. of Turbo Squid. A lot of Adobe stock. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's. Okay. Yeah. I guess this is live or whatever. But um. <laughs> 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 that last part where I said <laughs> Squid. Got that. We still got a couple months of the, um, the, yeah. So, yeah, but I just like, I don't, like, I'm not that interested. There, there's certain like tiny things where it's like, like crowds. I would love to know how to do crowds in Houdini. Like, the things you can do with yeah. crowds are like fucking amazing. Yeah. It's, Have you, now, you know X particles, right? I know X particles. How- yeah, you can do some crowd simulations in X particles. Yeah, you, you know? can. And there's there's other like there's a piece of software called Anima that Yeah, I've heard or, of it. Yeah. The, so there is some other like crowd things, but it's more like the ragdoll physics type stuff. Like that would be like super fucking awesome to do. I mm-hmm. think. like if you could like I I've got like a bunch of ideas where it's like, "Oh, fuck, if I could like, you know, have that ragdoll physics like oh, that'd be so fucking sweet but it's like the the learning curve to get to that one tiny like feature that i want is like so high like yeah it's you know and i'm sure there's a million houdini people it's not that easy it's like shut the fuck up it is (laughs) fucking hard like (laughs) <laughs> it's there's a a real learning curve to like fucking houdini and mm-hmm. it's something that you need to gauge against the um the usefulness of it yeah because time yeah. spent learning stuff is time spent is taking away from time that you could actually be like making stuff yeah i'm very kind of cognizant of the cost of learning new shit yeah let's let me ask you this at the beginning of the year uh uh let's see how far you've come from where you said you were gonna do at the beginning of the year i think at the beginning of the year you said you were gonna start jumping into like redshift more and like maybe jumping into some houdini stuff like how how much have you done happen (laughs) <laughs> didn't happen at all yeah i wait i said at the beginning of the year i was gonna do houdini yeah something like that i think you you posted something like really yeah 
something like that. Like this is what I'd like to do at the beginning of the year. Don't doubt that. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> know Houdini stuff. I don't even think like my license. I'm pretty sure expo- I definitely don't even have <laughs> yeah. on this computer. Yeah. I don't even think I have an active license anymore. That's fine. yeah. Ours expired too, and we're like, no. Well. I've got probably forty hours in Houdini. It's yeah. more than me. 40, yeah. 60 hours in it. Yeah. And I could do some fucking squishy blah, blah, blah stuff. I could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, but that's like the problem. Here ago. Yeah, you come here back and you're like, uh, how did I do that gone. again? And you got to no, learn it over. That yeah. Gone. That shit's yeah. long gone. So yeah. Like, I would be starting at absolute square one. Like, how the fuck do you double click on the node? What does it do? Like, wait, what? Yeah. What the fuck is all this shit? Like, yeah. yeah. How do I turn the camera? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just dumb shit. It, all like the that. basics. Yeah, yeah. All the like complete basics. I swear, Are, like all of these programs, it's it's ninety percent like just knowing how to get around. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. that is a big thing, and like you know, you you haven't even gotten to the like you know crowd simulation stuff. It's like how do I move the camera over there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that might take yeah. like forty five minutes to. How do I orient the camera like this? And yeah. It's like. You're not even like learning about the the crowd simulation thing. That's just like sunk cost of like yeah. you want to be at the fucking big boys table with this tool. Like this is what you need to learn. This is yeah. you know that's the the price of entry or whatever. Uh, Billy so, wants to know if you use Mega Scans or Polygon at all. I don't use Polygon. I haven't I haven't looked at that. Um, it's pretty good. Is it? Yeah, I yeah it's, it's um, really good. GameTextures.com. Okay. I, oh, interesting. I like that one a lot. Um, uh, yeah, poly. I've looked at it a little bit, um, and yeah, it looks really good. I also use that uh, real displacement textures. Um, yeah. For stuff that seems like it's fairly similar to the polygon stuff. Yeah. So does GameTextures dot com have like all the different maps? It's the same maps. Oh, and... yeah. Okay. It's okay, like cool. normal maps, displacement maps, spec. Cool. Rough fish, whatever. Um, yeah, so there's, so it's like kind of like, that's why it's sort of like, I'm not going to fucking go into substance designer and spend hours making an asphalt texture. I can pick from like fucking 40 asphalt textures. Right. Like, or you right. can buy the new one that Chad Ashley just made. There you right. go. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah. Freaking, I haven't even opened that up yet, but it's, I'm sure we got it too. Fucking By the way, Dave, awesome. we got it. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Some fucking like badass materials there. And the thing I do really like about that, and I think I mentioned that when I like tweeted it out though, is that it's in the library. Because that's the one thing I really yeah. don't like about these game textures and polygon that I will definitely mm-hmm. say check out that grayscale gorilla. I'm not getting paid to like say this, whatever, but yeah. that, the, <laughs> yeah. that grayscale gorilla thing with it being all in the library, just like, pfft, like, yep. to go, like, no fucking yeah. around like putting in all the stupid maps like i hate doing that it's so like time consuming and like tedious mm-hmm. and like yeah see polygon came out with a plugin that will do that for you it'll oh, find the really? folder and it will pull it all into octane automatically and Ooh. set it up mm-hmm. like, like you pointed at a folder me and ladies. so i've been taking those and i've been every time i do new ones i paste them into like an empty c4d file and eventually I'm just going to put it in my own library and just have those textures because Matt and I were talking about this. We always download like the same textures over yeah. and over again. I'll download like, the same wood texture at least 15 times every month. Right. Wait, why aren't yeah. you building a library? Yeah, because I'm we stupid. Be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I it's time to consuming, it, but just drop it into the content browser and yeah. you yeah. make a texture. Yeah. Yeah. Put it in the content browser. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, do that. so I don't ha- honestly have to do it that often. And to be honest, you'd be surprised how much I like use the same like, you know, te- yeah. textures over and over because I know what I'm gonna get. Like it's uh-huh. like kind of I know what sort of like look I'm going for, and I know how to like tweak those textures to sort of like get close to that. So yeah. I'm not. I don't like you. It's like a freaking billion textures or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So think, are you, uh, so are you still exclusively an octane or are you using redshift more or like, cause I knew you said you were going to jump into redshift and everyone was like, Oh, people's using redshift now. <laughs> so like I, and you called like one of yours, like red one or something like that, which was like, yeah. so I don't know how much, how much are you actually using it? I would say I've done, I've used, um, Redshift on about 
probably 30 or 40 every days. Okay. Okay. So, not that many. And what was what was the uh what was the what was the push to try it? Was it to like no, I, I know specifically jerking, it's... jerking each other off over it. This is a fucking <laughs> second coming of Jesus. Holy shit. Let's fucking, you know, let's, uh, this is fucking God came down and he created a beautiful magical renderer for us humans, us mere mortals. <laughs> and then I open it up and the fucking thing crashes like all the fucking time. It's like, I don't know. It crashes all the fucking time. I had to have, be quite honest, I had to have somebody from Redshift come and like make it work on my computer. They had That's to funny. remote into my computer really? and uh-huh. set up the fucking license. And it was like, what the That's fuck was weird. that? And they were like, oh, it was like something. And I had <laughs> people like, there's another project that kind of one of the things where I just stopped using it is I had this project and it kept fucking crashing. I could not render it. It would render one mm-hmm. or two frames and it was an animation. And I sent it to them and I was hmm. like, you know, what's this? And they like, sent me a reply back like three weeks later being like, you know, uh, we'll look at it and never fucking heard from. It's like, I couldn't render it. And mm. it's kind of like using like a bunch of sort of like spotlights that would be really good in Redshift and would, yeah. you know, uh, uh, arguably take, it, it wouldn't be, it would be very hard to do in, in Octane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the power yeah. metrics are. Right. And to be honest, that was the, almost the entire draw for me was the like volumetrics with Redshift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, the rest of the stuff, having a million passes, I don't use a fucking million passes. Like even you do mm-hmm. visual stuff. Like it's usually like quick, you bake it out. You're, not, you're not fucking rendering out 16 billion passes and copying this shit together. And I'm certainly not doing that for every day. It's like, I don't have time to fucking <laughs> do that. So, so doing, you know, I don't need fucking VFX, ILM, TD fucking pipeline shit. I need something that's quick. Something mm-hmm. that's hopefully stable. It was not remotely fucking stable. It crashed constantly. I don't like that you can't use net render because I have two boxes mm-hmm. and being able to like use all those boxes on one viewport to me is very beneficial. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like sure. fucking fast as shit. So it wasn't really any faster as far as that. So it's kind of like to be quite honest, I didn't I didn't, you know think their service was anything to write home about they didn't even fucking respond to me so yeah. well, it was kind of like i don't know i, I can i, I can really try. see that though i mean you got to do with the nodes and all that stuff it's like for for something you're trying to put together super fast that that's the other thing i feel sense. like people are a little like you know jacked on this nodes whereas i agree with you and i think you've said this before matt that you fire yeah. they're slower for a lot of things i'm sorry if i just want a bump map and i just want to dump a fucking jpeg into a bump yeah. map and hit yep. the slider that's not yep. faster completely agree if yep. you want to make some yeah. giant fucking thing yeah it's great nodes are perfect i don't want to make that as i said i'm not making textures anymore i'm going to leave that to somebody who makes textures like yeah. if you fucking are going to spend you know uh, two days dialing in this asphalt texture. Why the fuck would I recreate the wheel? I'm not going to do that. I'm right. Just, and like I've got people I'm pay like one friends who say that about your new asphalt texture. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's Thanks. totally worth like, it. I don't. Yeah, it's a hundred percent worth it. It's not worth my time to like recreate these things. So like, if as I as somebody who's not going to like go balls deep in in um, materials. Then mm-hmm. I really don't. This node thing does not like it. Doesn't gain me almost anything. So I don't like that part of it either. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, there's just there's small things like ambient occlusion. Like that's not like it's a big. Last time I talked to like Chad, it was like, oh yeah, you can do it, but it's like this giant fucking kludge workaround where it's like, what? I'm not fucking for ambient occlusion. Yeah. It should be a yeah. box. Give me a fucking break, like. I don't know. <laughs> just a number of things with it where it's kind of like i feel like we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here guys with like and not that octane is perfect by any means there's a lot that like you know th- there's a lot of stuff we want there's a lot of things that we want and there's a lot yeah. of things that you know i i wish were slightly different but mm-hmm. for me it's still like for my workflow and, and again nothing if, if work it, i think that people like 
Like everybody has different needs. So mm-hmm. if, if Redshift is what works for you, I'm not trying to like dog on it like it's crap. Mm-hmm. Definitely just sounded like for the last 10 <laughs> <laughs> But if it's like, if it works for you, like, then it's like, great. But it's like, yeah. the work I do is more, is a lot more like look dev work. So it's like, mm-hmm. I'm interested in just like, it's not as like production. Like I'm rarely, especially a lot of the like freelance stuff that I do. I'm not the one actually rendering it. I'm handing it off to somebody else and they're doing the like final render. And so sort of like, you know, they, maybe they put it into Arnold or maybe they take it in something Mm -hmm. else. It was more just about coming up with the like look and feel of it. Right. Um, So for me, I just want something that's like really quick and the 3.08, I'm still on 3.08, but it's really like rock solid, like rarely Mm -hmm. ever crashes. And like, there'll be days where it's like, I'll go like almost a week and I'll like all the like every days and stuff are still open. Like I haven't closed since That's funny. Yeah. in like That's a funny. week. So it hasn't crashed in like a week. Yeah. So uh, I mean, and I'm using it all day, every day. So yeah. it's to me, like the stability problems, there's no stability problems with the version I'm using, the drivers I have. It's like, don't fucking touch it. It ain't <laughs> broke. Like, it ain't broke. Don't yeah, fix I'm not it. fucking like, it, it's good. Um, Four has been pretty good for us. The, yeah. the biggest problems that I've been having are when I am causing it to have VRAM issues, but it's my fault. Yeah, you know, I, I had an issue wrong. going from version 4 RC5 to version 4 RC7. <laughs> where like our spotlights and it and just wasn't reading the light and, yeah. yeah so yeah whatever. but there's there's little things like this week one of the things that i did is is you know you can't you can't render instance a render instance in octane yeah. right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so so one of the things that i realized this week i thought i had set up everything right but i'm doing like hundreds and hundreds of cars on a highway mm-hmm. and so i thought i had my order of operations correct because i had my instances of the pieces of the cars for each individual cars they were just regular instances and then i was render instancing with the cloner object that was causing like copies of the cars to go out on the highway Uh and all of a sudden i pull it up and it's like 44 million polygons Uh and crashy crash crash and i'm like okay so i flip it the other way and all of a sudden it's like oh two million polygons i'm like okay you got to get that order right yeah it's a big deal the um and so that's what you were running into with the VRAM. Cause honestly, I really yeah. almost never have that like issue, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Well, well version the... four has out of core geometry, but there's still, I have found some hangups with it. So I can do 44 million tries on the 2080, mm-hmm. but it's, Oh, do you it have 2080s? To... Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is it, yeah. The 20... <laughs> it didn't start on fire yet. It didn't. No, this it's it's not the TI. It's the regular one. Oh, was it just the TI? Is it there? Just the TI. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There was a great. I'll put it in the show notes. There's a great comparison, like a, a test that people did. They had them send in the TIs that weren't working, and they were able to run them through and figure out like what was causing it. I guess. I guess the conclusion is that they're not failing at any higher rate than any other cards. It was just a lot of mm. media hype yeah well but, i don't know about media that. hype cost me a lot of goddamn money in that stock price jesus christ oh <laughs> stock is that... getting fucking crushed including really? today yeah really oh yeah uh, man yeah. Well, well, I'm... Oh, it's all it's two things it's they miss some like quarterly whatever i think they're numbers are slightly not great and then there's just like a fucking huge glut of like they have a huge oversupply of cards from all the stupid crypto bullshit. Yeah. Yep. And then these 2080s were kind of, it sounds like, I mean, they're good in one sense with the RTX stuff, but it's a little like there's some, you know, kind of kinks they have to work out. And I think, I think some people were not, um, like, is the performance like, I don't know. It didn't seem like it was that much it's, better. It's not that much better, but it, okay. I, I, it, it will from what be. I've heard, from what I've heard, it's not that much better for gamers, but yeah. it's much, much better for us. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. It's like 30% better for us. Oh, like and it's going to get faster. better when everything's incorporated into these render engines, all the RTX stuff. It's yeah, not yeah, out there yeah. yet. 
yeah and that's the thing like seeing that those demos it's just like oh my god like that Mm -hmm. i mean i guess if i had to pick one thing that i would like that you know i i some technology or tool that i think would be like super awesome to like learn where i would probably get the most mileage it's like unreal engine because it's yeah. like you're looking at those renders and it's like okay mm-hmm. that is literally like a thousand times faster like if yeah. i render yeah. that that might be like a minute a frame and that's like 60 frames a second it's like yeah. if you do that math it's like okay that's like what 1800 times like faster yeah so it's like uh, you know that's insanely insanely faster have you have you looked at any of the real-time renderers like you render um oh yeah those guys sent me something um Mm -hmm. i i'm kind of watching it from Mm -hmm. a distance just because it doesn't seem like it's quite uh like Feature. Not quite beeple ready. Beeple ready. <laughs> beeple ready. No, yeah. Beeple ready. But it just, it's not, it doesn't quite seem like feature wise. It's kind of like there yet. Um, yeah. But Unreal is coming out with the Cinema 4D plugin. They're, they're talking about building that, and Octane really? is coming to Unreal. And it's like, you're going to have this great integration with C4D in Unreal pretty soon. Well, what I'd rather have than that, because again, I don't want to learn how to fucking move the camera, like yeah. <laughs> really learn how to move the goddamn camera or scale uh-huh. thing. You would rather do something in cinema and then render it out in Unreal? No, I would rather right. do it in cinema and have a fucking real time render in cinema. Like I wish like, Oh, yeah. I see. I wish like that you render. I wish that, or like Octane would build like a stripped down real time version. That was like yeah. 90% of the fidelity, but like a bazillion percent of the speed. Like that to me would be fucking awesome. Or have unreal you, integration into cinema 4d the other way. That, that would be great. That would be fucking perfect too. But it's like, I really don't want to like, I would really rather not, work in another environment and like the dynamic right. there's a million things it's like dynamics it's like i can do that in like two seconds like da, 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 take take boom bullet like done yeah versus mm-hmm. like okay how the fuck do you do that and you know i just want to drop a box like how the fuck do i do that in right, like, right right that's right, a right, day yeah. that's an afternoon like yeah uh, see unity felt a lot like cinema 4d the first time i opened it mm-hmm. like it okay. really really yeah, feels like cinema some, 4d did, did you do some project with that I, I was just messing around. I made some little games just to learn it. Okay. That's as far as I got. I, I did the little game uh, the with the 3D dick butt character where, where you had to, like, <laughs> capture the dick butts. I don't remember what I did. The problem is I created it, and the next day my computer crashed, and, and the hard <laughs> yeah. drive died. So it was gone. So I still have a copy of the game, but I don't have the code. <laughs> got it. So... But I need to I need to get back into that. Yeah, like I've got time for that. Yeah, but. and that's the thing. It's like one of those things where it's like, let's pause everything. Let's just find this magical window of time where you're just yeah, around right? your fucking thumb up your ass. Like, <laughs> yeah. I want to learn today. I'm gonna just, you know. Yeah. So what, yeah. So how much how much free time do you actually have? For what? Like oh, this is a great segue stuff. into a topic I have written down. Yeah, uh, I was thinking about this last night. I think this is a good topic because, like, for all you know, okay, so um, very little. Uh, like, I should be working right now. Like, I'm gonna have to like, <laughs> work, like a fuck ton more. Like, no, I'm right there with you. I'm right back on these cars after the show. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, I saw somebody say that EV for Blender. Yeah, that definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot about Blender. Like, people are mm-hmm. jacked on Blender now. It seems. Yeah. It seems yeah. like it's. I don't know, which is funny because I honestly didn't even realize that Blender was open source. Like, I yeah, yeah, somebody yeah, was yeah, yeah. talking to somebody who used Blender, and they're like, "Oh, well, it's open source." I'm like, "What?" I thought it was just like a small company. I, I not, just did not I realize know. that. Yeah, no, it's been yeah. I mean, I've I've used it a few times. Like, that's the first 3D program that I learned. Okay, but very little about. Sure, very very little. You know, but the fact that it was free, I was all like, "Heck yeah, let's, yeah, let's do this." It's a great way to get your foot in the door, at least. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, it seems very like full featured, like in terms of. Mm-hmm. I mean, anything you can do in any of these other ones, more or less. Mm-hmm. Doing that one, like in terms of render quality and dynamics and yeah. animation and all this other. It's got a ton of really cool particle stuff as well. 
Like I've yeah. I've used Blender before for like actual like water simulations and stuff oh, like really? that. Yeah. 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 So definitely. Yeah, that E B thing, that's like that's pretty much what I would like to see in yeah. Cinema Forty. Something very fast, but like yeah. it doesn't especially because a lot of the stuff like a lot of stuff that I do now, like if it's if it's not like concert visuals, it's for like fucking Instagram type bullshit where it's just gonna right. compress to have filtered a and, tiny yeah. ass little screen and it's like yeah. The screen's yep. cracked and like, you know. Instagram yeah. stuff for you or Instagram stuff for your clients? Both. Instagram stuff really? for me or like the Adobe stock thing. I've got yeah, a thing yeah, yeah. coming up with HP where it's like, this is just going to live on Instagram on a tiny ass cracked screen. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. need to be fucking, you know, a full Arnold pipeline level quality of like, yeah you know, fidelity. It right. yeah. needs to be like I want to get the idea out there like fucking quick and like I don't know. It, yeah. Did you did you see by the way speaking of the render engine thing did you see Aaron Coverett's uh his it was a new still life still right? life thing that he did like it's been blowing up like it's no it's, what, uh, I don't know. all the uh, oh, wait can you pull it up into this thing yeah pull it up fancy, into the screen oh yeah 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 totally. screen here. <laughs> Put it on the fancy oh, screen. What is this fucking like? It's even got some like <laughs> transition there. That's dumb. oh yeah, oh. yeah. Look, so he he did the he did this still life. So I guess these are I photogrammetry. I yeah, he took I think pictures. So. I think with his cell phone. Oh, did and he do that? I didn't, yeah, I couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah. From this. he took them. Wow, this is insane. Uh, but this is a great breakdown. I'll post a link to this in the show notes as well, so you can check it out. But this That's is, cool. um, I mean, the pieces of corn, the, all the. I mean, but this is Octane, and, you know, David Brodeur did a similar piece with Redshift a couple of weeks ago. That's still kind yeah. of – a lot of people are getting into still lifes right now. Wow. You know? yeah. but, but, man, no. it looks so good. Yeah, that is insanely, insanely good. Yeah, and to me, yeah. that's where I go back to, like – I mean, the whole, like, Render Wars thing. It's like everybody won. All of the fucking renders are, like – That's a good way of right. thinking right. about it. Like, yeah. who won the Render Wars? We did. Everybody we did. did. I like that. You know what I mean? Just like the war on drugs, right? Well, I don't know. I feel like everybody <laughs> lost that. That one is oh. kind of the opposite. Everybody or did the drugs lost. win? <laughs> the, the drugs, drugs won. <laughs> the drugs got us there. The, um, but it's like, you know, if you want something rock solid, it's like amazing quality, you got Arnold. If you want something that's GPU based, but it's got like more passes and like awesome volumetrics, you got Redshift. If you want something that's crazy fucking fast, You've got Arnold. If you want something that sucks, you've got V-Ray. If you want, like, <laughs> you know, there's, like, oh, yeah, there's something for everybody there. Sage said the drugs at least won in Canada. We know they yeah. we know they won in Canada. Yeah. I sure did. In funny. California sure and in Colorado, Colorado and Washington. Like 30 other and, states. Yeah. And Michigan. Michigan. Smear balls. Yeah. Smear balls. When I saw him in here, I'm like, wait, he knows these guys? And then it was like, wait, I know him through this. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. I love Smearballs. He just uh speaking of him, he just uh released a new a new Dead Mouse. Yeah, yeah, uh, I saw it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Fun. the like fucking worm things. Yeah. 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 This, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I like can't, I reached out to him after seeing him on your like show and like met up with him at FITC Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This year, so yeah. Yeah. Super cool dude. Super I good. love that guy. For shows. So the one thing I wanted to talk about was the work life balance thing because we got kids and stuff. Yeah, plus if you're okay, so on average, how long does an everyday take? Mm, probably around two hours, I would say. Okay. So on average two hours, right? And if you're like, you know, pumping out an eight hour day for clients or something like that, then you add two hours on top of that for your everyday, that only leaves so much time for your family. Well, that's the thing where I work from home and I right. don't ever see friends ever. I don't know <laughs> anybody in Charleston. I never see friends. I never go out. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much working and spending time with my family. Like, that's it. There's no, cool. we'll watch like one episode of one 20 minute episode of something at <laughs> night. Uh-huh. Occasionally it'll be an hour long episode of something, but. 
that's about it. But otherwise, my wife's home all day, so see her a ton. The kids are fucking, you know. I try and keep the door shut, but they've been. <laughs> we haven't been. I haven't been super vigilant about that, so they're yeah. fucking in here every two seconds. And That's what Matt was doing before the show. He's like, "Get out of here! I don't want you to hear people cussing." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. So yeah, they're so I you know see them pretty much as much as I could, like far more. Even yeah. if I was working like a, a you know nine to five job with you know out of the home that was just like punch in and blah 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 punch out right there i would still see the kids way less than i do because it's like i'm here you know every day we eat yeah. lunch together you know That's i cool. don't eat breakfast but i'm down there you know as soon as they wake up in the morning to the time they go to bed every single day That's so, awesome. Uh, you know i see the kids luckily even though i'm like working a shitload i still mm-hmm. see the kids all day yeah and so, yeah, that kind of, I, I would say the, like, hanging out with friends is the piece where it's like, that is like the mm-hmm. piece that I don't have. The, yeah. There's, there is. But then no, you go and have parties or like, like you travel a lot, right? Well, that's you, where I, I like mean, that you've been, stuff. let's see, this past year, where have all of you been? You've been France, oh, um, Greece, uh, where else? LA, uh, Seattle, Toronto? Went up to Seattle, Toronto. Yeah, and then Seattle. I went. I went to San Francisco and did another party after that. Like two. Days. I heard about that. That's hilarious. What was the? Sh- what was the? Yeah. How many people showed up to that one? Um. So that one, they were kind of like trying to like keep a bit smaller or whatever, and we weren't trying to like advertise it at all. Yeah. But it was at that um, uh, Obscura Digital, which okay. is really cool. Do you know about that dome thing that they're doing in Vegas? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Oh my god, yeah, you gotta look this up. Google Obscura Digital, uh, I don't know what the fuck the dome thing's called, but you'll see it. They're they're owned by um, MGM now. Okay. But they're building this dome in Vegas that's like, I think it seats 14 or 17,000 people. And the entire dome is LEDs. Whoa. So the entire fucking thing is gonna be one giant ass screen and the outside of it too. Jeez. Like there's like the outside of it you'll be able to put crazy shit on. Uh-huh. And the inside of it, the entire thing will is LEDs. Jeez. Yeah. Is, oh, the, is this it right here? I can't tell. No. It looks something similar. Way though. bigger than that. Oh really? It's yeah, it seats like fourteen thousand people. Have they have they? Oh wait, that could be the yet? inside of it. That might be the inside of it. It looks like this might be projected, though, not LED. I'm not sure. I can't tell from this. That might be, but it's kind of hard to see from that angle that it's like the entire, like, everywhere you look in the dome. Yeah. Oh, I guess this is OK Go. That's see, if you can see, see if you can find something that's outside the dome, because then you can see the, like, scope of how big it is. Yeah. It, it's oh, obscure. The digital Vegas dome. OK, let me try that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like, this will be, like, I think one of Holy the like, cow, biggest fucking crazy. things in Vegas. Oh, so it's, it's okay, yeah. the concept. Yeah, that's oh how fucking big it is. Gosh. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah. How are they even going to build that? <laughs> They've got a, a 3D model in the, like, warehouse there. So they are a content company. And the reason I, part of the reason I, like, know them is G-Monk works there. Right. So I was like, oh, can you have a party? Sort of like this other thing is like, can you have a party at Obscura, whatever? <laughs> um, and so they've got like a dome there, or like sort of probably it's about like this big model of it. And it is just like with all the like little people like to scale. And it is just like, oh my, you can kind of like stick your head in it and see like, oh shit, like it's <laughs> crazy as fuck. Billy so- said, Bro, it's literally a portal from the Beeple verse. <laughs> the big, yeah. the big people come through that. They're gonna the big have, people's people. Yeah, they're gonna have. So they're building one in Vegas, and I think that will be done in like 2021. Okay. Um, ish, and then they're building another one concurrently in um London. Wow. Do you happen to know what the pitch on the uh, the pixel width is? I have no idea. Okay, I, no. Was, I think I think show, they but. said the the um the full resolution. I think 
don't quote me on this, but I want to say they said it's like 18,000 by 18,000. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's, again, I could just be pulling a number out of my ass. but I, <laughs> Which that's pretty good, but when you think about it, that to me. it's spread over the entire thing. So yeah. you've got to have it at least something like that. So. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it is, yeah, it is going to be insane. So it was like, oh, man, it'd be super fucking dope to, like, meet those people or whatever. And I got to, like, meet the, like, owner and shit. And, like, yeah, it was super, like, super cool. So, yeah, they're definitely a, a company to to look out for there. Billy says we're going to need a bigger render farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, yeah. So they, they um I guess, um mgm sort of had this idea they kind of had the idea and mgm bought them bought the entire company so that oh wow obscure is actually owned by uh is it is it mgm now no not not mgm no madison it's not mgm it's madison square garden sorry okay madison square garden Oh, so it's going to be so Madison Square Garden. So first they're going for the square, garden. and now they're going for the sphere. Yeah, sphere yeah. garden. Okay. <laughs> then no, Madison Mad- Cube Garden. Cube just garden. In, yeah, there we go. It's like Futurama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, so that's, yeah, that's gonna be super dope. Are you still flying uh, drones or anything like that? Messing around with some drones or? No, that's another thing that's gone out the fucking time window. I was, yeah. I like my brother probably because we both kind of like went in on the Mavic. Um, yeah. I would say all told, we've probably got like 20 to 30 hours. I personally, time flying it is probably like an hour. Like, Jeez. I got, I <laughs> never, we never fucking like get it out or whatever. Which so, what do you, because it's so fun. Like, it's just like yeah. the fucking sweetest thing. It's so fast. Mm-hmm. Like oh yeah, and I've got the goggles too, which is oh really oh, oh yeah, dude, the goggles are awesome. It is so fun because it moves the gimbal. So oh, that's oh cool. when you look around, yeah, dude, oh I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, dude, oh, okay, now not, I want one. It's not stereo, obviously, because there's only one yeah. camera. So you're 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 staring at like a flat screen, but yeah, right. it moves the gimbal like it's freaking sweet. It is. Oh, that it, kind, is cool. it makes you a little like. You couldn't yeah. do it for, yeah. you couldn't do it for a long time because it's, it's like <laughs> Oculus Rift. It's like DK one. Yeah, like, yeah DK one. Maybe, maybe yeah, between yeah. DK one and DK two, but it's yeah. it's, it's uh it's freaking sweet though. It is cool to just be like you know freaking looking around. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna fall the whole time. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 It's definitely cool, but yeah, we like freaking never use that. Like, so what do you do for fun then? fucking work i do everything <laughs> that's it well, there like, you go. i freaking so yeah. you do you do at least enjoy these every days right you enjoy your job right um i mean yeah i do <laughs> i do they're, 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 put you on the spot no You're like no i hate this i hate everything well it's one of those things where it's like you know eight o'clock at night it's like if i hadn't ever if i don't have didn't have you know 11 years of street going and mm-hmm. like i'd probably just sit down and watch a movie like i really yeah, want to see right. that black Klansman, but you know that's probably going to be a, a, a while before i get to see that yeah it's like yeah, yeah. there's not many nights where i have you know two hours free to like watch something yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. right yeah so it's one of those things where it's like i enjoy it you know but it's it's also like you know the grass is always greener i feel like yeah but I'm hey, sure you're these... a lot faster at it now than you were before. Yeah. Um. I mean, yes and no. It's kind of like it's changed. I, I'm faster. Like, yeah, I could create something that I created three, four years ago in like three minutes. Because yeah. It's like boom, 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 boom. All the shits in the content browser is done. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. you know, but it's sort of like it's not like my sort of uh expectation has kind of like gone up for what Mm -hmm. i should be able to do because of the like tools that i have that it's like okay i'm starting with a whole building done i don't need to model this building so like you know i feel kind of like it's cheating just being like well here's this render of a building it's like well i didn't fucking render that like i didn't model that yeah. Design it. So it's kind of like feels like I need to like 
take that thing and start from there and then like what's the next thing what can mm-hmm. i do with this as just being a tool this is just being like yeah. the paintbrush is yeah. buildings that i didn't model i yeah. get it as like, mm-hmm. almost like a plug-in where it's like you know you could use a thinking particles or you could write your own little espresso particle system or you could use you know you could view x particles it's like well that's cheating it yeah. just like does all this shit for you or you mm-hmm. can take X particles and make something fucking amazing, like with that as the starting point. So I look at the yeah. like all of the like stock models and stuff like that is like that's the starting point now. That's the like mm-hmm. tool. What can I do with that sort of tool? So yeah, I could I've gotten faster, but it's like sort of my expectation for what I should be able to do in two hours has kind of gone up that it's sort of yeah. like Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why Kit Bash is so popular, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, it's to me, it's like super fun because it's sort of like, oh, here's all these fucking badass shapes that are like, you know. It's like, like Legos for adults. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> it's like, I could just get like, here's this fucking like sets. And I've got like a shit ton of sets, like all yeah. different like sets that it's like, here's all this. And, you know, I've got like not just Kit Bash with like machine things. Like I've got a shit ton of like animals. I've got a bunch of like mm-hmm. people and I've got a bunch of buildings. That's why we've seen some of Plants. the animal stuff as well that yeah. we've seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That like yeah. Daz, Daz 3D or whatever they gave yeah. me, they were like hooked me up with this like thing. that was 800 gigabytes of oh my like, gosh. <laughs> yeah, content. It's like I couldn't even like download it all. It was just like I just go in there and like type something in, and it's like download the model, and it's like right there. Jeez, that's yeah. awesome. There's tons of like animals with like that as well. So it's sort of like yeah, there's tons of different like sets of things. Yeah, that so like you can play with. So it. you've got okay. So going to your everydays, you know, we've seen a whole bunch of them because you know we do the people's people segment. You know, and so you well, you see different stories throughout, for example, like, you know, the corporate ones like the Facebooks and the Googles and the Amazons and the McDonald's and stuff. And then you got a whole separate thing, which is like your animal ones where they're like mechanical animals or like, you know, tubes coming out of these animals. And then you got the other ones, which is like the emoji wars and stuff like that, you know? Like, it's like... That's because uh, I just get, like, tired of, like, doing the same thing. So I kind of have these, uh like, concurrent sort of, like, emoji things. Like, that's kind of one sort of Uh idea. But it's like, I don't really feel like doing that, like, every single day. Right. So it's like, I'll do something, and then it'll, like, move out of this. Or just, you know, then I'll just put in, like, a fucking shitty one, because I had no motivation that day. (laughs) Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, like concurrent sort of like moods or themes just because i don't always have i'll have an idea for something like oh, i should do that at some point but then it's like you know i sit down and it's nine o'clock and it's like yeah i'm not so yeah. there's today. there's just never throw a guy in there throw some fucking shiny <laughs> whatever there you go there you just go like, it's on. I, just, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> um so there's never any like there's never like a story that you want to tell is there ever a story that you want to tell? Like, I mean, I feel like the 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 corporate ones. You know, I feel everyone always they feels like a you're telling, a, yeah, like you're saying sort of a statement there. Yeah, you know? it's more of a tongue in cheek thing. Like, I think that's okay. the other thing that I think people think that, which you would, I don't, yeah, that's what I think anybody would get the impression that I'm like against Facebook or I'm against Facebook. I'm not against Facebook or Google. I own stock in Facebook, Google, (laughs) Amazon, Netflix, Apple. I own stock in all these things. I hope those companies do great. I hope they do really fucking great. I hope they take over the fucking world. They'll make me a shit ton of money. (laughs) So, and and I think there's a lot of like (laughs) people dogging on these things. It's really easy to dog on Facebook and stuff like that. Uh Like I think you, you take for granted all the good things that, that these companies that it's like, you know, like just being able to connect with all these artists and like, how am I going to see that kids? How did you see that kids still life thing? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Did you see it on Facebook? Did you see it? Yeah, on he Google? posted it, did on you see it on Twitter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah you yeah, just take yeah. for granted. It's like, otherwise what's the alternative? The alternative yeah. is yeah. I've got a bunch of artists I follow and then I just go to their website every day to do anything. No. Okay. 
Yeah. Do yeah. anything? No. Okay. <laughs> or I don't go to the website, and then it's like, oh, shit, six months ago they did this super awesome thing. Well, I didn't hear about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the alternative. That's how it was before. I look at how Yeah, that's artists, how it used to be. I'm used to, like, I, I'm influencer or that I can follow now and follow them. Uh-huh. It's way more with Instagram. It, it's yeah. insanely more artists that I can follow and know who they are and, like, keep yeah. up with them and, like, oh, sweet, they're kind of – delving into this like the amount of you know just pure sort of like information that you're getting from these platforms is so freaking high like it's i don't mm-hmm. know and i think people take that for granted and they look at the, the small negative things oh they freaking rush and blah 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 it's like don't be so stupid to fucking be influenced by this shit and you'll be fine like i don't know i think there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of it's it's really easy to look at the negatives from these and almost take for granted all the like positive things See, and the communication that you're now you got to turn it platforms. around. Now you got to turn it around and do like some positive Facebook stuff or some positive <laughs> Google stuff. Well, actually, like that, that like, one was actually trying to be. I don't know if you saw. Actually, it was the the year of our Lord one where there was uh-huh. like a Russian bot and it was like oh. Facebook was trying to defend you from that bot. Like it was trying to like I don't know if you oh, really it was. got that. But <laughs> I didn't Facebook get that, was no. trying to like. If you looked closer, you saw like Facebook Defender that it was like Facebook was actually trying to like keep you oh, safe mm. from these Russian bots because okay. like, there's like Russia, like they're fucking playing like real shit. Like they're trying to fuck <laughs> us up. They're not trying to sell you some fucking vacuum cleaners, some shit like they want to take <laughs> us the fuck down. So it's sort of like I look at the, the you know, is Facebook perfect? No, Facebook's not perfect. They're a fucking company. They do shitty things, like, to make money. That's what every company does, like, to Uh some degree. They want to make money. But it's, like, compared to Russia, it's, like, I don't know. Like, they seem a lot better. So, like, maybe in the future (laughs) it'll be, like, who's going to defend us? Is the government going to defend us against, like, technological things? Or are, like, Uh these companies going to defend us? I don't know. The government seems like they're pretty fucking inept. Like, (laughs) maybe we should, like... I don't know. Like I, I could see a future. It's not inconceivable to me that we we rely on these companies more and more to like keep us safe. I mean, look at like mm-hmm. Gmail spam filters. Mm-hmm. The email would be almost unusable without spam yeah. filters. My oh, my man. hotmail is basically unusable. It would be like literally like this is fucking useless. Like send me an email. Like nah, don't send me an email. That's like useless. Yeah. I'll never see. The it. phones are getting that way too. The phones are getting that way. So it's sort of yeah. like who's gonna like defend us? Is the government gonna like come in? No, AT and T is gonna have to like fucking come in and be like, okay, like let's yep. come up with a solution here. So all they like, got to do, I came up with a solution. They just need to be able to make it so you can whitelist people and you're good. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know. That might work, but. Or they have to no, have a special can, uh, instead of a you phone just, number. They have to have a special code, and it's uh, not you something can do you that can now. Guess. You just permanently, uh, permanently put your phone on do not disturb mode and only let a few people through. There you go. There's your whitelist yeah, right that's there. Basically, yeah. it. Definitely, mm-hmm. But I don't know. I just feel like it's really easy to rip on Google and Facebook for some of these mm-hmm. privacy things when it's like you don't. Ha- the other thing is you don't have to use it. That's yeah. true. Using Google. If you yep. like it, you you don't find the value in that. You are you know concerned. Stop using Google. Don't do your Google searches. Do yeah. Duck Duck Go oh, right. Let me know how that goes. But <laughs> yeah, you can go about your life using Hotmail and Bing. Uh, and no, Bing. It, it's <laughs> advertising too. That's the other thing. Yeah, like oh, yeah. all of them are the same game. I don't know. I, I think people are very quick to like sort of. I don't know. Get, you're funny get mike about, get you're funny because like so many people like they see your work and they're like oh man oh. he's like punk rock he's like <laughs> anti-establishment uh, you're like state nah dude i got a ton of stock on these i, I, I hope they rock. i hope they succeed <laughs> no uh, no i definitely <laughs> that shit's tongue-in-cheek it's just kind of like it's, yeah it's fantasy stuff to like because it's like, I don't know, maybe it will turn super shitty. Maybe Mark Zuckerberg right. will be fucking emperor of the world and he'll be fucking <laughs> yeah. implanting shit in my head just to, like, fuck with my whatever. I don't know. But there it is. <laughs> there it is. See, that's that's the that's the thing for your next <laughs> short. That's what you should do. Mm-hmm. Are you do, uh, Tokyo Megaplex wants to know if you have a goal for your next short. 
Or if you're yeah, going to do an next short, I guess. I do. It's mostly done. It's nice. Mostly, oh. like, it's nothing. It's nothing like any of this other stuff, to be honest, though. But yeah. it's mostly done. It's I got. I'm. I'm. The end of the year. Claymation, cool. all claymation, right? <laughs> not that far, <laughs> not that far away. But it's not. You're trying to build the buildings and and like greebles and stuff with yeah. Play-Doh. <laughs> It's not quite that far off, but it's not like the, it's not like the like every days. Yeah. Nice. Let's do, uh, let's do Uh the people sheeple. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. We got to call it something else. Okay. We're going to, no, people, people People are not not people. People (laughs) People are not people. Okay. I have to say though, in all fairness, people sheeple, like that is a pretty good name. (laughs) <laughs> that's kind of it's very catchy yeah. i will yeah. give you that. i will give you that so right. um uh we can we we will do this as the beeple version of beeple's people because these are beeple's people all right so um i went through and i found a whole bunch of everyday renders uh that people on uh like the the cinema 40 subreddit or the the c40 facebook page and i went and i found a whole bunch of them it was very easy it only took me five or six minutes (laughs) all right and then i went back to some of your renders and i tried to grab ones that i think would be the most inconspicuous like that you might be confused on whether or not you Matt made those you're or gonna not. forget i agree I, with you you're I not think, gonna forget i think i, I think, think you're gonna no forget. chance in hell that i get one of these wrong all right all right prove wrong kids prove right. me wrong okay okay at at any point do you ever I see a render fuck. <laughs> <laughs> i had to take a double take on that that's definitely not mine but I, i'm gonna be honest i just had to look a little closer I don't even know the answers. Matt's going to have to tell me. Not okay. Not uh, that's not yours? No. That is correct. That is correct. Ding. Right. You need the bell. Yeah, I got the bell. It was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. It is a little harder than I thought. That's mine. That's yours? That is right. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. Next one. Uh, nah, this mine. is interesting. Wait, what'd you say? Not mine. Wrong. That is yours. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, it's not. When is it that from, yours? Matt? That is yours. What? That's an old. Hold on. That's throwback. On. That is throwback. Yeah. Yes. It's... Oh man. Now I gotta find it. I gotta find where yeah, it is. Yeah, find that. <laughs> Shut up. You have to it's reverse it's... image search that or something. I will have to reverse image search. Hold on. Look uh... zoom in on it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where is it? Where is it? It was an older one. It was a much, much older one. Oh, there it is. That is uh, July 20th, 2012. Okay, fucking 2012. God yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I yep. told you if you went way back, you might get me. <laughs> what? Oh, and it only took you three. It only took you three. All right, what about oh, this one? Cocky as shit. That one was called Dark Day, the wait, previous wait. one. Dark Day. All right, what is? what about this one? Wait, where was it? 2012? Yeah, uh, I think so. It says 20 July 12, so I don't know if that was, what year that was. It's in, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's called Dark Day. Wait, 20 July 12? That That's was... what it says on the, the thing. This is in round six. That is definitely, yeah. Uh... Round six. Yep. yep. Okay, yep. Wow. fine, fuck. That's <laughs> <laughs> this one right here? Yeah, that's fine. That, that is correct. That <laughs> okay. is yours. All right, hold on. Right. I need to go to the... All right. No. <laughs> correct. That is someone else's. All right. This is hard to do. I should have had a better <laughs> Beeple viewer of choice. No. Nope. Correct. That is not you. I think we're nearing nope. the end. That is not you. Correct. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah, that is you, correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you remember this one. I remember that. Yeah, that this was from bros. when we were on it. <clears throat> All right. Nope. Ah, correct. <laughs> yeah, you have to go back a couple years, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was like three That's months recent. ago. I know. I know. Well, but I, I figured I might be yes. able to get you because there was the mushrooms. Yes. Mine. All right. This one's? Which one? Mine. Uh, Yes. 
I think right, that's is it. Is that it? That's, that's it. it. All right, I got you. You got, you got me out one, though. You did give me out one. I said if you <laughs> well went back way far, you might well you might get me. That's nice. <laughs> no, I definitely oh, don't would not remember the ones way the fuck back like that. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's real good. That is funny though. You did get me. <laughs> you did get me. <sighs> All right. Well, is there anything else we want to talk about? I know you got a lot of work you got to do today, and we do too. I got to think of anything else, Matt. I don't think so, man. No. I just appreciate no. you being on the show, yeah. dude. You're so like, dude. I honestly, I, I, I love like to do it all the time. I love that you're like, you're seriously so down to earth. Like, just like it's like every. It's funny what everyone thinks Beeple is is not who Beeple is. You know? that's we, it's actually funny you brought that up because I've heard that so many times. Yeah. Go to these things and people that I have heard that so many times all over the world. Mm-hmm. People saying, "Wow, you're not what I expected at all." So yep. it makes me think, "What the fuck did you think I was going to be like? What exactly so, is my Well, I don't think they thought you would be dressed like an accountant." Right. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're i think they're looking for a beard and yeah you know they're, a they're plaid looking, shirt maybe yeah. or and you know a paps blue ribbon in your hand i don't know yeah yeah i don't know but there's i've heard that so many times and it, they i mean most of the time people it seems like they're kind of like happy like oh you mm-hmm. didn't seem like how i thought you'd seem like it doesn't seem like they're saying it like Wow, you didn't seem like I thought you'd seem like you're dick or whatever, but it's very like <laughs> it makes me it definitely always makes me think it's like what persona am I like kind of uh, I think I think people see your everydays online. They see your everydays and they think you are that that person. Like you're adventurous or you're you're against the establishment or, you know, blah I and don't you're know. like super artsy and you've got like, yeah. like the flock of seagulls haircut you know right that kind of thing uh, yeah. yeah i guess like yeah I, yeah so. if you've never like seen anything of me i guess yeah, i don't know yeah i think what you yeah i guess i'm a bit probably more dorky than most people <laughs> would like, <expect. laughs> like oh, i didn't expect you to be a big fucking dork <laughs> i mean you I know and you, you it's like i didn't expect is, me to be cooler than you and i definitely <laughs> am <laughs> but like you've also you know you've got these art shows and stuff like that you've done how many art shows have you done where people have just like featured your work you know like art shows well yeah there was the one in uh there was the one in new york city right <laughs> okay never mind i feel like every time you go to one of the, okay well i mean you're talking about that paris one? fashion yeah, week you know they're yeah. featuring I mean, yeah, your artwork been cool projects here or there but yeah so yeah. I mean, it seems like it seems like you're you you have you have gone past the C four D. You are into the artist realm, like like Picasso or or uh, no, hold on, or, or uh, what's the dude, uh, uh, Andy Warhol or something. It's like yeah, uh, I'm not sure that. when I fucking sell a fucking every day for ninety million dollars, then we'll there you go. we'll revisit that comparison. Then, and then see? you got to shred it when you're yeah. done, right? That was it's freaking purchased. dope. That yeah, was, it was. Freaking yeah. dope. That was that dude is smart as hell. Like. That was brilliant. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Uh, All right. All right. Yeah, hey, thank well, you guys for having me on. Like, I've definitely come on anytime. Like I said, I listen to it all the time. And thank you guys for, like, doing it because it's like, it almost feels like it's made exactly for me, even with the, like, people yeah. stuff that it's like. <laughs> but it's like, no, it's like all the, like, same, like, you know, drones and, like, renders and, mm-hmm. like, you know, like, all the, there's so many, like, news things, like, that it's really, you know, all the, like, topics that I'm interested in, you know, in terms of the, like, yeah. sort of thing. And, like, guests on, like, I've contacted numerous guests that you've had on, like, after, like, hearing... That's cool. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, nice. on the thing, like, well, like, you know, like, Nick or whatever, like, people like that, where it's just uh-huh. like, I heard you on the thing. Actually, who was it? Just that, uh, who did you just have on I contacted? He was going to get me uh, tickets to that, uh... Aaron Sorensen. Aaron yeah, Sorensen. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's watching yeah. right now, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, I contacted him after, and it was like, you know, after seeing all, like, crazy VFX stuff he did, it's like, oh, man, like, that's freaking super dope, and 
yeah. at the void i'm like super like fucking super jacked on the void like yeah i yeah. get a chance to do it while we're down there but yeah definitely like super cool well, you'll have to come in to Dallas and try the one here, and then do a DFW C four D or something. Yeah, do a DFW C four D for sure, for sure. Wait, wait, what one do you have there? Uh, uh the Star no, is it, wait is Star it Wars. Star Wars? Oh, listening right now, Aaron. It's Star Wars in Dallas, right? The Cinemark Dallas, one. The Void. Here, I'll look. Um, I totally need to go see the that. The Void. Wait, uh, you, Star which Wars. one did you see? You, uh, I saw uh, Ghostbusters in okay. Toronto. I saw yeah. the Ghostbusters one in New York, yeah. Which I thought was so when the freaking thing flies through you, that was so sweet. Like <laughs> when it like sprays you or whatever. Oh my god. I was mm-hmm. just like freaking I was just oh, that was so fun. Like it was uh, just the like funnest thing it's... I've done in VR, like by far. Uh West Plano, Texas. Okay. Yeah, I think the Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars Secret of the Empire. Yeah, Yeah. I would go see that. I'm super like it sounds super sweet. Yeah, that Star Wars one is sounds super dope. Yeah, and DFWC 4D. By the way, we'll have those clips up hopefully um, right after Thanksgiving. Like, yeah, that that was great. By the way, that was a really great turnout. Yeah, Mike, we need to have you down for the next one. Yeah, dude. When is it? When are you like? I don't know. February or March. Or maybe even if it's the one after that. So we, we need to have like a six month planning time for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get people to like buy tickets, plane tickets and stuff to get down and all that. I would say fun. Yeah. Someday. Uh, Someday. <laughs> um Yeah, I think maybe I'll see he's uh, checking his schedule the, now. Well, maybe sometime in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Because this okay. that March thing, there's already a couple things and I'd like to hopefully make it out to NAB this year. Yeah. Uh, yes, that would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah really hang out because yeah. the, the after parties at NAB are so fun. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's like I, I was there a couple years ago for like freaking two minutes or whatever. But, yeah, but, I know. I went and found you. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, it's like it definitely seems like it would be super like super fun. And I actually I was just looking at that media motion ball thing. Like I didn't really even know what that was. And then I like just just a couple days ago. So I was like, oh, man, that looks like super freaking sweet. Like. Yeah, Billy said. Billy said the NAB limo. You got to get on on the, the <laughs> yeah. NAB limo this year. The party, Dude. the party tr- oh my stretch gosh. with the with the stripper poles and the that lights. That thing and stuff. was ridiculous. We got to do that again. Rented yeah. a limo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we got a limo hours. for everyone for a couple hours. <laughs> and it was just drive around. The strip. Yeah, we went to yeah. the liquor store and we stopped there and then we got back in and <laughs> drove around. It yep. had a great sound system in it. We were like connecting our Bluetooth to it and that's taking funny. requests, and that's yeah, it was huge. Funny. It held like thirty people. Yeah, it was yeah, ridiculous. That'd be dope. That'd be super <laughs> fun. That'd be yeah. Dope. Awesomeness. Yeah, you know, Well, I will talk to you guys soon. Definitely. Thanks for having me. All right, All man. Right. Well, I'm gonna do a little wrap up here. You can rate us on iTunes. You can leave a review or subscribe to us on your podcatcher of choice. You can subscribe to our newsletter. We haven't sent anything out in a long time, so nope. I promise you, you won't get much spam from that. Nope. And uh, you can see you've been there, done that, got the t-shirt with the No Bro Graph, No Mo Graph T, the Gate and Simone limited edition shirt, which is still available. Super limited. The, what else? The Paul Badfield, the Bad 2020 shirt. All the mm-hmm. profits from that go to Doctors Without Borders. And then there's the Render Things shirt and hoodie. I'd like to do a long sleeve of that as well. I love their long yeah. sleeves. And then all the secret shirts that are on the Slack channel. Slack is closed. Slack is We're closed sorry. again for a little while. But, uh, you know, you can still hit us up on, on email and whatnot. But if you want to get cool things like the like the uh, secret Beeple shirt, you got to be on the Slack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what do you think the you, Slack is closed? Uh, well, we have open, invoice, open invites. Oh. So basically you can go online and you don't need an invite from anyone else. You know, so we've got it closed right now so that you can't just, like, sign up. You gotta get. You gotta get some. You gotta know someone. God. Yeah. Don't worry, yeah. Mike. We'll get you in. <laughs> All right. So we'll keep you on here on the live stream for a second, so we can wrap up. But uh, until next week, I'm Dave and I'm Matt. And I'm Mike. <laughs> Have a good one. Later, bros. Peoples, peoples, where'd you get the creeple? Peoples, peoples, what's up with the guy? Sprint.
pretty good, I guess. Brograph.com, an online resource for learning Cinema 4D, After Effects, and other motion graphics tools, specifically catered to help you prevail as a motion graphic designer. What's up, bros? Welcome to another Brograph motion graphics tutorial. With tutorials, plugins, and now a podcast with tens of thousands of listeners worldwide. Yeah, it's a great community to be part of. We give you professional time-saving tips, industry news, interviews, shortcuts, and lessons that help keep you current in the world of motion design. Throw an HDR studio, take the render settings, pick the HDR, put a reflection, and gorgeous. I love projects that scare me. When our art director comes to us and asks for something that I had never done before, man, it gets me pumped. Our weekly long-form podcast will give you the latest news, help you in your file management, hardware configuration, and client relations. Learn about the latest render engines, modeling techniques, and workflow integration while staying entertained. Real nice banana. Ah, that's so funny. All right. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> Our BroGraph talks are a chance to see the way industry leaders from around the globe are changing the face of motion design. Sometimes you got to make stuff that you're not going to put on your reel. And I'm not here to judge. The podcast and talks include people like People, Barton Damer, Nick Campbell, Andrew Kramer, David Aryev, Chad Ashley, Paul Babb, EJ Hassenfrost, Mitch Myers, Chris Schmidt, Jules Urbach, Cornelius Dammer, David Brodeur, Andy Needham, Caitlin Kaju, Zubair Parker, Noseman, Ryan Bean, Casey Hupke, Nick Lyons, Sage, Joey Corinman, Jeremy Cox, Rick Barrett, John Dickinson, Matthias Omatola, Patrick Gosky, Brandon Clements, Steve Teeple, Tom Glimps, Patrick Longstrom, Julia Simone, Devin Coe, Al Heck, and even Dead Mouse. You get that render done. Yeah, you better frame frame what? Our BroGraph breakdowns go behind the projects and give you an insight on what it's like to manage and maintain your own personal business or work for a large company. Join us for live sessions, check out our useful plugins, watch time-lapse projects, interact with us, and send us email questions and topic ideas. Or just hit the rando render button and do an imaginative daily that'll keep you on your toes. Take all your dreams and let's do it! Subscribe today and get automatic updates on the latest tutorials, tricks, tips, and inspiration brought to you by industry professionals Dave Koss and Matt Milstead. We don't care how you get here, folks. Just get here. Subscribe now to BroGraph Tutorials. Pretty good, I guess.